الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين that's one book <laughs> سبحان الله I mean, I mean I really don't even have room for this and that's a good thing I gotta expand the library because this is now going to be the largest single book in my library up until now the 32 volume Al-Insaf Ma'a Sharh Al-Kabir Ma'a Al-Muqni' The three books put together which is Al-Muqni' of Ibn Qudama its explanation which is called Sharh Al-Kabir and the commentary called Al-Insaf together was the largest book that I have Mardawi's Al-Insaf as was well known book 32 volumes this here 45 volumes this is an encyclopedia of fiqh rulings that has been put together by the Islamic uh, Ministry of Kuwait. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them. This is a must have. I am telling you, this is an absolute must have. The great books of fiqh of the past, like Al Mughni of Ibn Qudama, or the Muhalla of Ibn Hazm, or Al Majmuh, the Sharaf Muhaddab of Al Nabawi that put together the opinions of the other madhahib and their proofs are a great resource. But the government of Kuwait with the Islamic Ministry of Kuwait with the large group of scholars have done an amazing thing. What they did is they took a panel of scholars and they, they made an encyclopedia alphabetically and that's really cool. It's an alphabetical order. So let's say you want to look up Hajj or Hijab or you wanted to look up Adhan you could actually find it in alphabetical order. And then from that, they collected the opinions of the different madhahib, the different schools of thought, and their evidences and rebuttals and discussions. And in 45 volumes, 18,500 pages, they put together the largest encyclopedia of the rulings that I have seen. And now, inshallah, this will be the largest book in my library 45 volumes i can't tell you how excited i am about this i have read this book before in different libraries especially when i was doing my masters i used to go uh, to the library of sheikh uh, sohail hassan and i found it there and i benefited from it i have a pdf of it i have in maktab shamila but i really wanted the actual hardcover book may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward our sheikh abu abdullah in utah alhamdulillah he coordinated uh, with some brothers in Kuwait and he got this for me and I'm I'm really excited to open it check it out um, sorry guys I already opened a couple of volumes I just couldn't wait but I did keep most of it intact for this uh, unboxing um, again government of Kuwait and the Islamic Ministry of Kuwait 45 volumes 18,500 pages alphabetically organized encyclopedia of fiqh rulings giving the opinions of all four of the well-known madhahib and some other madhahib occasionally and their evidences and what is correct and so on. I don't care what madhahib you follow. I don't care if you don't even follow a madhahib. This is an incredible resource for you. Tell you, I'm going to try to... Now, these are packaged in, in sections of three. So I'm going to try to take some off and open some of the middle uh, volumes, inshallah, for you. Make dua. It doesn't fall on me. It might uh, You might be praying my janazah if it does. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Almost did. <coughs> I want to try to get some of this lower volumes because then we can look at some of the subjects that are any relevant and, and lettering and so on. Uh, let's go here. Tell you Bismillah. So you can see it's packaged in uh, packets of three. I literally don't have room in my library. I'm going to have to put a shelf on this other side, which is the only place I have left. But inshallah, it's so worth it. All right. Bismillah. <coughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all those ulema and tullah bilm that were involved in putting this together and the Islamic Ministry of Kuwait for putting this effort. It's an amazing resource which, which will be used, inshallah, for centuries by the students of knowledge and the scholars to know the opinions and evidences of the different madhahib and so on. So, let's take a look inside. Uh, 
So, for example, dhikr, right? The issue of adhkar and dhikr. It has it here. Um, it will first do ta'rif. It will first introduce the subject to you. What is dhikr? What is it in the Arabic language, in mustalah, in the ter technical terminology, um, regarding the wording, and then uh, masail related to it, right? So, uh, mashallah, I mean, it's, it's well written. Um, there, so, it's in the white paper, it's not the cream paper, alhamdulillah. The writing is very clear. You will see that when they do mention ayat or ahadith, they give you the reference, right? So here, even in Takhreej work, it will mention Akhrajahu Tirmidhi, was reported by a Tirmidhi, and a Tirmidhi said about the Hadith, Hassan Gharib, uh, and so on. So it's not a detailed Takhreej, but it does give you the references. Here, it mentions that this is mentioned in the Tafsir, uh, and the volume and page number, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, for example, under Surah, uh, I guess the volume and page number here, and so on. So, Akhraja uh, Imam al-Bukhari, fi Sahih, Imam Bukhari mentioned in, in his Sahih, Siyuti fi Dhul Manthur, which is the tafsir of Imam uh, Siyuti, gives the volume and page number as well. Excellent referencing, excellent work, good binding, clear print, and just an amazing research. Um, let's look at a couple of more because this has, alhamdulillah, a lot to look at. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I, I have benefited a lot from this work already in Maktab al-Shamila and also uh, in a PDF format. But, Allahi, there's nothing like having a good book that you can write your notes in, that you can highlight, that you can go back to and look at your notes, um, sit down with some tea and enjoy. Uh, that's, that's the best. So, let's see. So here, this has... Al-Iqama tells you what's going to be in this volume. Um, so now, regarding the issue of Iqama, yani after you give the Adhan and then the Iqama, it begins here, right? Once again, it'll give you uh, a Ta'rif, it'll introduce what is Iqama in, in Lugha. It comes from the word Aqam, yani to stand or to establish. What is it in the Sharia, in the Islamic terminology? This is to establish that the Salah is now going to stand after the Adhan. Who is it for? Yani it is for the people that are in the Masjid. It gives the Ahkam. Then it talks about uh, the difference of opinion. Yani what is the ruling on the Iqama? What is the wording of the Iqama? And it gives you all of them down. And then what is the Khilaf of the Mudahib? al Hanafiya and, and Shawafiya and Malikiya and Hanabila and so on. And then it gives you their proofs, their evidences. What is their evidence? What is other people's evidences? Um, excellent. I mean, this is this is something that is an amazing work for research. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from us and to benefit from us, for us to be able to benefit from it. And we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make this video a means of other tulab ilm and even shuyukh to be able to be introduced to such books, to find them and utilize them in their research so we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correctly in accordance with the Quran and Sahih Ahadith and the way of the Salaf of this Ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Jazakumullahu khairan.